My name is Joe Greening, and I am the writer-director of I Want You, a short horror film that we shot over the course of uh, three and a half days. I Want You is a short horror film that centers around a uh, character, Jesse, who is uh, like a C-less actor on a motion capture, capture set. He's not really feeling fulfilled in his acting abilities, and by chance, he meets the most famous actress in the world. And even further still, she invites him to hang out with her at a night at her rental house. Uh, and then it kind of progresses from there, and he finds out that she harbors some pretty terrifying dark secrets. Uh, and he learns those over the course of his evening with her. I wrote it with the lead in mind, so Joe Schwartz, uh, he's an actor, super talented actor that I've worked with before. Um, I've seen him play a lot of bad guys, a lot of heels, and I think he does a really good job, and I wanted to see him in a little bit smaller role. Not smaller in scale, but smaller in like, his size, his stature, everything like that, the way that he holds himself. Um, so knowing that he was on board, the next step was casting the, the, the other lead, Victoria. Um, once she was cast, it was, uh, and kind of simultaneously while casting her, it was budgeting, um, working with the producer, Jen Cena, with, um, you know, budgeting out food, budgeting out, uh, the location, what we were going to spend on the Airbnb, what we were going to spend on hotels, flying people out. Uh, it's, it's a pretty expensive process when it's all laid out on a spreadsheet. So our, our first day of filming was Thursday, the 23rd of March. On day one of production shooting on I Want You, that's the name right, <laughs> heading to Bishop's Castle down in southern Colorado to get some, some spooky vibes. <laughs> um, I'm thinking this is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. Check out that snake! Look at how beautiful it is. Well, today we're at Bishop Castle filming our opening scene. And how often when you're making a movie do you get to start with shot 1A on the shot list? So, never. Never, exactly. Um, but yeah, we're, we got permission to use the place as long as they're not intrusive. And there's a lot of people here today, so hopefully most of them clear out by the time we're doing dialogue. Uh, everyone that worked at the castle was awesome. They were super cool with us being there and just as long as we weren't messing with anybody's experience uh, at the at the site um, and it, it was a good it was a good first day to get into things because the shot list wasn't super long. We were just filming about half a page, uh, very minimal dialogue and just a couple establishing shots so uh, Derek also didn't have a ton of experience on this particular rig, so it was great for him and Nick, uh, the first AC, to get the rig going and, and uh, really hone it in and, and make it their own and, and, and learn it. So you're now on the 8K sensor. You can go down all the way down. Um, maybe try 6K. First day, we, we did the, the opening scene. Um, Joe and Kendall crushed it, uh, uh, and uh, Kendall did a great job at playing dead the entire time. Jen Cena's, um, Jen Cena's uh, she was a producer, but she also did all the special effects makeup, and her makeup was incredible for that opening scene. It's, I'm very excited uh, to see how that's all gonna cut together. Remember that time we were in the studio doing this? Yep. Now we're outside doing it. Nice. So, 
The first film class I took, I was like, oh, this is gonna be so cool. I'm gonna learn how to make my YouTube videos so sick. And then I was like, oh my God, you have to think about everything. <laughs> this is too much. <laughs> overwhelming. So feeling good. To do, but feeling better than I look. <laughs> That's good. Feeling good? Oh, yeah. Ready to go. A little nap in the car. Yeah. That would be better. <laughs> I want the opening of the film to be just kind of shocking. Uh, I want to have like crazy, grandiose um, score to it, and have it be this like this big, over the top, like super cheesy dialogue. Jesse in the movie is acting in a movie called Zombie Predators Five, so it can't. It's got to take itself way too seriously. Uh, so. You know, big wide shots of the castle, 360 camera shots down the stairwell. I had originally thought that I would put them in front of this giant stained glass window, but it didn't look quite right. And after I showed Derek all the photos I took, he was like, I really like that dungeon looking spot. Because this is a, this is something that I had imagined. It should drop down a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to move closer a bit too. That might be good. We lost I kind of want the full of light to start about where like, Nick is standing, or Nick's feet are. Go up with it, and then tilt down. Okay. Copy, I um, Turn in the opposite direction, or do you want to face it in that? No, this way. That's pretty good, I like it. it. It was the day that felt the most gorilla, because we were, we were on a site that was live, there were people there, there were people walking through shot, we'd, we'd be setting up a shot and start rolling and some dude would like stick his head around the corner and like be looking for his buddy or something like that. So it was fun, it was awesome. It, it felt like making movies with my friends in high school or something like that. It was, it was, it was such a fun experience to, to have the kick off the first day. Yes. Yes. You rolling? Roll it. One E, take one. Ready? Alright, yeah. lost. And action. You will not die in vain. I know this muscle locking serum. It's coursing through my body, slowly turning my internal organs to stone. But as long as I have blood pumping through my heart, I'll... Cut. Great. Uh, that was great. Uh, I, just, I just couldn't take... I just like... It was, it was so fun for me and so funny to hear him deliver that, that absurd monologue uh, to start it off. So he got a, several more takes after that, but that first one I, I busted a little bit. Uh, but it was it was so great to to hear him just give it his all, and I knew it was going to be great working with him for the rest of the project. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But this is really just an establishment. Yeah. <laughs> it's a zombies predator. Yeah. <laughs> right, we're tracking back. No, no, we're um, so we're we're using basically a shot from right here, and we're just gonna like push in on him as he delivers his monologue. Got it. So we start here, we don't see Paige. The only time we see a close up on her is the over the shoulder. Got it. So we, all we have left is just, this is where all of his dialogue happens. This is just an establishing. So we gotta have these rails ready. Wait, I'll just sit in real quick. Does this look right? As far as. Okay. Ooh, from the atmosphere. Roll it upside down. Yeah. Um, yep, yep. All right. Okay. Camera speeds. One F. Take one. Right, yes. just a little bit. Uh, everything went pretty smoothly on day one. I. In hindsight, I wish I would have brought like our professional fogger because those little cans of uh, mist that I had, they just dissipated super quick. I mean, you'll still see them, they'll still be there, you'll feel them, but I wish we would have had something a little, with a little bit more punch.
And that's just about it. And then just uh, pull her head more towards me. It's just a quick cutaway. Actually, that's cool. We're wrapped for tonight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Day one done. Check out, guys. Okay. And then we headed back on up to Colorado Springs and got some dinner and called it a night. My name is Joe, and I am directing a horror film uh, that will be filmed here at Windstar Studios, as well as a few other locations in Colorado Springs. And today we are doing a few camera and special effects makeup tests. Uh, Jen Cena is producing, as well as uh, doing makeup and special effects. So she's testing out some stuff here as well. And this is gonna be the set of one of our scenes when we're actually in production. I'm Jen Cena, and I'm the producer of this project, and I'm also doing special effects and special effect makeup. Nice. Yeah. What are you doing now? Uh, right now, these are separate pieces. <laughs> this is um, a piece that's it's going to come down from the top of a um, like doorway or something uh, to look kind of inhuman. Um, so we'll see her from far away, but it's supposed to look like our main actress. We have two of these for face blood, and then we're gonna get a bunch of corn syrup and make blood like this stuff that I made that will be like for the blood pool at the end. Nice. Pretty gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Kendall, and I'm playing Paige, which is a, a small role in the beginning of the film, and then I'm just gonna be hanging around set, helping out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can buy the right makeup for you. My name's Kevin. I do whatever Joe tells me to do, that's it. What are you working on now? What's that? What are you working on right now? Uh, I am working on I'm trying to make a shadow, so but we want it really sharp. Um, I want to see what what your shadow will do, basically. So what I want Victoria to do, basically, is she kind of has to. But um, what I want to happen first is like a weird like light snap thing. So what I'm hoping to see is like something with like boom. and then exemplifying that. You're like, kind of like jerky movement. Pushing that and then yeah. Yeah. Like like the gear all the way. Uh to the dirt. So like somewhere in between. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's all gonna happen more yeah, into one and then you're gonna have Figure it out, ish. Ish, we'll find out when we bring in the After Effects. Yep, yep, yes. Great. So day two on Friday, that was our first day with our other lead, Mia. Uh, so Mia and Joe got to finally work together. Today we are in a parking garage. Uh, we are going to be shooting a scene where Jesse is leaving the studio and he sees the mysterious Victoria for the very first time. 
uh, and he can't believe his eyes because he recognizes her immediately. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a little cold and might get a little rainy eventually, so uh, we're, we're, we're prepping in advance for what we're shooting tonight and trying to figure that out, but all in all, you know, we're feeling good, feeling ready, feeling funky, feeling fresh. Hi, I'm Derek Bauer. I'm from St. Paul, Minnesota, and I am the DP. I'm Lyndon. Uh, I'm from Minneapolis, and I'm Griffin. And I'm Johnny. I'm from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and I'm just helping out. I'm a PA on set. Hi, uh, I'm Marco Toro. Uh, I'm from Morgantown, West Virginia, and I'm a grip on the project. I'm Joe Schwartz. Uh, I'm, I live in Los Angeles, and I'm playing the uh, struggling actor uh, Jesse, which is very easy to tap into. We started at the parking garage, and uh, one of the stars of the parking garage was this beautiful 63 T-Bird. Uh, and one of the benefits of working at the studio that I work at, uh, Windstar, was that we do a lot of car commercials, and one of our clients is a classic car collector. So I just asked uh, his assistant one day if we could borrow one, and she was super awesome and said, yeah, no problem, and uh, worked with us throughout pre-production to get it all squared away, and then the handler showed up right on time with it, and it was, it was just such an amazing piece of production value to add, you know, just from one connection from work, so. Hi, I'm Mia Marina. I'm from Denver, and I'm here playing Victoria. So we finished at the parking garage and I helped move some of the set decoration over to the Airbnb where most of the rest of the filming is going to be. It'll be kind of here tonight, the rest of the day, and then over at Windstar Studio and then back here tomorrow as well. We need to move these nightstands into the room next door. Um, if you can get the bed frame through the door and into the other room, that's great, but I think it's most likely that you have to take it apart. We just filmed some of the montage stuff with Mia, um, and it looked beautiful. Derek did a great job. Um, with, we had really good soft lighting outside for the little women stuff, so it went really quick and kind of went off without a hitch, so yeah. we're here and we're ready. Okay, you're on the landing. Okay. Supervisor Matt over here. Just, you know, just making sure everybody knows. Hey, I'm Nick. I'm from North Dakota and I'm pulling focus. Here. Yeah, like OTS, like OTS. Okay, great, great. Um, do we want to? Do we, are we going to subdue this? Obviously, to yeah. I feel like this is really mainly for, for the drone shot. Okay, right. you got it. So specialty shot, and then come in with, um, you know what? Seems like Christmas to me. Nailed it. 
Once we got to the Airbnb, we were we were ready to hop in to the night stuff. The 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 moment when Jesse arrives at Victoria's rental house and gets brought into this crazy ride of meeting her and acting with her and, and interacting with her in general with this famous actress that he's never met really. Um, so once the sun started to go down, Kevin Fetty uh, brought out his drone and operated a beautiful shot that actually was was so great that I just right then and there, I mean, it took a little bit of convincing from Derek, the DP and, and Kevin Pinsky, our key grip. Uh, but uh, once I once I saw what they were talking about, it was it was super easy to just cut all these other shots because we had the idea or I had this idea of the drone goes across the length of the house to show how big and depthy it is. And then we see him approaching from above and he walks in and, and walks up to the door, basically. The door is gonna open behind you like you're opening it. We're gonna see your shadow. As the door opens, stand up and then both of you guys just go inside, we'll close the door. And then we had some coverage at the door. We were gonna get, you know, a shot looking through the door at him, her opening the door and like beckoning him in and everything like that. But what we were able to do with that drone shot is have the door open when the camera's right above and see him walking up and see her shadow, her silhouette out onto the pavement and then see the two of them walk in and close the door behind, which is incredibly cinematic looking. I'm, I'm so glad that those guys had that idea to, to just condense all that into one piece because it's one of my favorite shots in the movie. It looks incredible. Cool, uh, cut. Let's go inside. There's kind of two parts to that scene the way I see it. The There's the part where the lights are on and then there's the part where the lights go down. And what we were really trying to do with that first night was get all the way through to when the lights go down. That would have been a great stopping point. Uh, after that, we went upstairs and started with the the, the the meat of the movie, which I think is the most interesting part to me. It's when Victoria brings Jesse to this rental house and maybe she has ulterior motives, but once he's there, she becomes incredibly interested in him and 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 like is flattered by what he has to say and, and wants to act out a scene with him and everything like that. So uh, we spent most of that night up in that up in that room that we turned from a really unique looking master bedroom into uh, basically a, a lounge, a sitting area. Let's do it. Yeah. I feel like Mia needs to cross in front of the legs. That's fine. All right. Camera, speed. Sound? Speed. Mark it. 10C, take one. Okay, I'm gonna start a little bit further back over here. I'm seeing as your frame, Derek, start a little bit of pan left. Yeah. Good. Action. Just, um, she, she's gonna walk past camera, oh, okay. but the put your eye line is straight, straight on. Got it, got it. I thought maybe. I mean, it makes sense. You're just looking at her, so. Yeah. I was trying to make him real uncomfortable. All right, so, it kind of it looks like a disaster zone here, but we have. Just pasta, just regular pasta, marinara sauce, and salad. Very simple. It's a good one. This is the action that everyone wants. Gotcha. Some napkins for you messy boys. <laughs> that scene upstairs was the first time that I finally got to see Joe and Mia really dive into their characters of Jesse and Victoria, and it couldn't have been more exciting. They 
really, really, you could tell, put the effort into embodying who these people were and really were thoughtful about their process. So they were incredibly easy to direct and it was so, so awesome working with them. And it was just, it just made me giddy. Like the first, the first time seeing them uh, in their coverage and the way they were interacting with each other was more than I could have hoped for. And, uh, you know, it was just, it was really just tweaking little moments. They, they had the, their, um, their vision. Do you want this light? Cut. That's great. <laughs> So, okay. um, this one? Uh, let's see. Uh, look at the 35. Yeah, let's see quick. You know, uh, maybe like uh, candles more centered. But. Yeah, candles more centered, and if you could just slide like a couple inches forward, I'll be happy with that. Yeah, cool. So, Marco, is this good sound? Speeding. And camera. Ten F, take one. Okay. I don't think we need it. We might cut it. Uh, we'll see how we are for time after we, we get back so on track. Guys, the steps are... I'm very bad. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I can do it. I can do it. Yeah. Hey, Joe, I was going to say, when you turn back that where, way... Where were you? Where, was you, where were you yeah, like, really positioning hot. yourself? Oh, okay. Because okay. 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 we're dragons. Yeah, you know. I'm going to play with the Hold that. <laughs> the third one, they didn't even call it Zombie Fighter right, 3. It's just zombie with an E. The E is a 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to walk in, do the scene, and leave. And again, this time, even more. Just let him sit there and squirm. More. Even more. Yeah. Great. As if I don't feel that way already. <laughs> This house? <laughs> no. Be more specific, Jesse. You want this life? Money? Power? Fame? Lovers? Houses? You can get lost in? You know, we're. We're a little bit behind schedule, but I'd say we're, you know, we're getting there. I think, uh, I think as we continue to push, I think we're gonna line back up. Hopefully. Maybe. Yeah. So, my name is Manuel. Um, I'm from Colorado Springs. I've lived here my whole life, and I've always loved to film. Um, so what I'm doing is, um, uh, I'm gonna be syncing a, a lot of the sound first. So the first thing I did was adjust everything, put everything in, in the timeline, and now I'm gonna be connecting the picture to the sound. So that's mainly my main mission right now. So hopefully all goes well. The editor should be able to just jump right in. So. Action. That's it? That's it. Uh, how long are you here for? There's just a lot of logistics that go into making a short film. There's a lot of coverage, there's a lot of moving cameras and lights and everything like that, so uh, we just fell behind a little bit, and um, that's all right. As long as everyone's on board. Uh, luckily, everybody on the crew had a great attitude, as far as I could see. Uh, so, I mean, I like the no cutting off, but everything else, just space it out a little bit. Is Lincoln nearby? Take it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's a lot of I think I do uh, yeah, yeah. want you to start with look at me. Okay. Just twice, I was, like, I was like, the first one I can get over. Like, Not the second one. Yeah. So you're right. Oh, I'm great. Never got... Sorry. Uh, do you have the squeezer back there? How? 
Take four. Are you guys take a step towards the camera? She did that really good. Yes, sir. It's just a little too hot. We need a tail slate at the end of this one. Yes. That's it. That's it. How, how long are you here for? You need something else, too. Something you don't have, unfortunately, but... But? Next Saturday. Not that it'll matter to me. <laughs> it's not gonna matter to you, okay? <laughs> You're gonna be dead. <laughs> Yeah, don't cut it. Get that, get that tail slate in. Uh, Eight camera speeds. Tennis, take nine. What? Cut. Camera guts. Amazing. Uh, the, the one thing I want to change at the very end is. Um, So the, the last take that we did took about 13 takes, but it was a it was a warner that combined a lot of different shots kind of in the moment, and I think it really, really turned out awesome. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> it, it, was, it was awesome to, you know, be able to see that the, 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 the morale was still high as we moved later and later into that first night. Not nearly as late as the second night, but um, yeah, when we, when, we, when we cut for the night, we were only, you know, 45 minutes late, uh, albeit we did cut a few shots out of that night as well and push them to the next day. Well, I think we should go over the schedule for your behalf, Matt. For Friday and Saturday? Yeah, especially for that because you're going to be kind of heading up. Totally. I mean, I, I think you're going to kind of be heading up a lot of these. Um, we got you. Uh, oh, yeah. Jensina's going to be running the set until she has to do like makeup or costuming or production design, which is a very involved thing. Yep. So yep. at that case, you'd be ready to set. Cool. That's really just Thursday and Saturday, though. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, like the heavy so. makeup stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, something that I did with this project, which was a little bit different, was I actually wrote the third act first. I, I sent the third act to Joe Schwartz, who played Jesse, um, all the way back in the end of last summer, like back in August, and uh, just to kind of see if he was interested in the project. And he was like, yeah, this is cool. I, I don't really get it. I, it's, it's a cool like ending, I guess, but I, I'd love to see it more fleshed out. And I was like, I have some ideas, but I really just wanted to write an ending for once. So. Um, with this, uh, I think that's something I want to implement into more of my writing process is just at least knowing how it's going to end uh, and really just kind of driving the boat towards that ending. It makes it a lot easier for me. Hey, Joe, how many shots total do you know? I try not to think about it. I just go shots day by day. Day by day. Yeah. <laughs> we don't even count them. But Friday and Saturday night, I tried to t like plan everything out to the minute so we can yeah, see like, that. at each instance how above or like um, ahead or behind schedule they are. So we were doing some shadow tests with the dummy head and everything like that and I was able to use this picture that I shot uh, at the location the other day and kind of implement the shadow stuff that we got at the studio. It's still a little rough, but it's, it gives us the general idea and it gives a good idea for Derek when he sees it. Mm -hmm. to... I'm watching a lot of Walking Dead, so... 
Um, and obviously I'll put fresh blood on. This is like dried blood. Yeah. But. <laughs> I think it's great. I think it even could be ripped in one, one or two spots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have like a little couple tears. Oh, nice, nice. But yeah, I didn't want oh, to nice. go too hard yeah, just yeah. in case. We can always do more on the spot. Yeah, so, for sure. That's awesome. If we're rolling that scene by five. Uh, daylight savings really kind of effed me up here like I was like, I thought we had like the perfect schedule until daylight savings and it pushed everything back so it's just kind of it, it really condenses our night shoots and mm. pushes them later into the evening that we can start and later that we're going to end so we might while we're waiting for sundown get that monologue of her it's just a tight shot like super soft lighting we'll just find somewhere in the airbnb to shoot it so if we have time before the sun goes down, I'm gonna have her do that, and then okay. while we're doing the drone and everything like that, she can get into her Victoria costume. Where is that on here? Uh, it's not in the Friday shot list. In the main floor. On the left or right? Right side. Right side. Yeah. Sunday is a day that everyone should wear, everyone that isn't already in the movie should be wearing uh, set black just in case. Yes. Yes. Uh, I mean, they probably will be anyway, but most people uh, are going to be in it. So it's going to be your cameo, Kevin. Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to fill up the background with as many crew as we can. Cool. A big part of the pre-production was working with Derek, the director of photography, and getting uh, a shot list made. Um, going through the entire script, excuse me, going through the entire script and talking with him beat by beat of like, this is when I want to cut to this character. This is when I want to get a wide shot. This is when I want to get a moving shot. This is really important to me that we see the lights go out, out from this angle. I really want to see a close up here. So just going through beat by beat um, and shot listing and storyboarding that all out. So when we walked on set, we had this template of what we were going to do and when we were going to do it. And let me show you these are a few storyboards that Derek's been doing, the DP. Um, this is at the castle, it's kind of a... And he's a super visual person, so this works for, for him and for me to make sure that we're on the same page. Uh, I love working with Derek. He's got such a unique way at telling a story visually yeah, I was going to say, that's a really good call on Derek. Yeah. Saturday was the big long day. It was slightly anticipated, but much more than anticipated at the same time. Well, we had a late 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 last night uh we got a ton of great stuff everyone crushed it joe and mia killed it uh we're picking up right where we left off today we're gonna do the green room scene with joe and mia joe's getting his morph suit on for the first time right now uh, we got sam doing some set deck for tomorrow uh derek and the grips are lighting the green room right now uh everything's going according to plan so far so Let's see what happens. Yeah. Where are we right now? Uh, we're at Windstar Studios on the stage. Uh, we're filming in here tomorrow, uh, some today with just Mia for her montage, but most of today will be in the green room, which is nice and packed. So. Yeah. All right, Matt, how are you feeling after yesterday, last night? Sleepy. It's still morning. Yeah. You know, even though it's 1 10 p.m. Oh, we have to set up the outside of the uniform and the He said, no. <laughs> Don't ask Nick. He actually doesn't know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam. I'm from Minnesota originally, but now living in the Springs. I'm a local artist and I'm helping out with some special effects makeup on set today. So. I'm Justin Gregory. I'm with 1116 Studios, uh, which is just a few minutes down the street here from Windstar Studios, where we are right now. Yeah, there might just be the tiniest bit of a pull from 
back a chair to if like if he leans in, you know what I mean? That zipper's stuck. So yeah, just, did that feel okay? Just pulling it back like yeah. that? Yeah. Let's yeah, just yeah. do that then. We'll just do it in one fell swoop. Yeah. I think you can actually get it. It's sitting in the corner of the front of the sticks there. Uh, oh. All the way up to. Uh, God, you have a script. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not very far. It's um, all the way up to what do you know about my home. Okay. Oh, uh. Oh. Uh, I, was, I thought this room was empty. No, no, I was just. Uh, I'm sorry. Sit! On shoot. Right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <sighs> Sorry, Joe, you're mine. I'll probably get sick with him after a little bit and I'll just send him your way. So. <laughs> you're not going to watch yeah. uh, this. Is that. So, Derek, for this shadow stuff, you'll kill all the lights and put that tungsten on, but I think if you're shooting on the 35 from right here, we'll get everything we need. Copy that in the shadow. Just like on Friday, um, most of the crew went back to the Airbnb to start setting up, you know, flying some lights high through the windows, um, getting the set ready, everything like that, while a few of us stayed at Windstar and did more of Mia's montage. And we'll stop there for them. And then after that, the next thing is um, spreading your legs apart like this mm -hmm. and going down on all fours really quick, staying right there. And then going up to here in front of the other so we see it. Um, if you can just far enough so we can see the outline of your leg. Like, we have like a jelly roll, we can use like the green sources. <laughs> Nobody here took wow. martial arts? I'm a white belt in karate. White belt? Yeah. Okay, so you're the expert on set. <laughs> <laughs> and then we all went back to the Airbnb for our endless night. The first thing that we did was uh, Mia had to get into her monster makeup. So she, the idea is that she transforms uh, into this terrifying vampire-esque monster with the long teeth, black eyes, drool. It's it's pretty disgusting, but it, and it, and she's got long black nails, uh, veins going up the side of her face, and Jensina and Sam. They got her into this this really awesome makeup, uh, and it took uh, quite some time, but it was worth it. Bigger. So yeah, we can do more. More but... bigger. <laughs> more bigger. <laughs> I think that's great. I think that's great. Isn't that yeah. cool? Alcohol paint. That's the alcohol paint. Okay. And I used a sponge. I just stippled it on like this. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then that was then. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. It just, it's like, yeah. You can tell they don't fit though, because my eye, my like pupils aren't in the mm -hmm. center mm -hmm. of it. So like, yeah. you guys are in weird right. shadows. <laughs> <laughs> Joe in his actual natural habitat. Oh, shit. That was a great response. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's like, oh shit. Fuck, my gosh, You can't really see that. Everyone thinks I'm very pretty. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Sound. Speed. Camera. Want to hit that for me, Nick? Speed. Camera speeds. 10Q, take one. Hold for focus, please. Okay, let's get that groove going. Okay, Set. Power. Power? Yep. Yep. And then open your mouth. I think they're just, it's like a reveal. Oh, yucky. Or they're awesome. like cutting back between like the reverse <laughs> right. of this and this. And then when we cut okay. back, okay. he's like twirling. <laughs> Tilt down, deck, yep, de uh, Derek. Yep. Okay. And eyes wide open, downturn mouth. Great. All right, camera cuts. So sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna grab you. There's a bathroom right here. If you guys want to Okay, I just need a guide. Yep. Is 10x? Uh, grab me my notebook if you would. All right, camera is speeding. 10, Victoria, take two. Okay, action. Joe, turn yourself towards the camera. Just kind of looking around. And three, two, one, lights. Light the candles on the table. Okay. Buzz it at the very end. Yeah. Um, That's fine no, at the very end. Um, okay, are we good to get the blood on his finger? Which one are you I focusing on? That one or that one? What's your shoes, Nick? Yo, not the white you know, Nikes, bro. Hang them all. Those aren't white. <laughs> They're the tarpo, bro. <laughs> Sacrifice, man. You, you got please, this. You got this. The just, just hang in there, man. Yeah, right there. Right. Sorry? You good to go? I am ready. Cool. Let's roll it. It's my last pair of tennis shoes. Right? All right. They all the same. Do you need a slate? Did I? Action. Let's try again. Yeah, you shook me a little okay. bit. Okay. Sorry. You're good. You're ready. Nice. Get on fingers, Nick, before the drip here. Okay. Finger down. Action. Cut. Let's play that last one back. Cool. All right, camera cuts. The lights go out and we do more makeup. We do some high speed stuff. And um, the big scene that, or the big shot, I should say, that took 90 plus minutes just to set up was when she shows up and bites his neck and rips off his skin and blood shoots out of his neck. And this was an uncompromised thing. Like it was like, we gotta do this. This is something that's way too cool to not do. <laughs> this is for the skin tear. <laughs> Gross. Yes, little tendons and pieces of skin. They'll look really sick when they tear off of his neck because they'll stretch. Oh, disgusting. Yes. <laughs> So here for it. <laughs> yeah. Kind of snuck ourselves yeah, further over. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, yeah, now we're getting something on her. For sure. Is it too much on me? I can close yeah. it. Yeah, so let me go ahead and get... You ready for the... Let's hit the overs. Ready? Let's start my which sexy. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go way up no. on ISO. <laughs> what? It's like what he reacts to in that other shot. Yeah. Next shot is bite. So am I just okay, keeping focus yeah. like... Just on her. Yeah, got yep. it. High speed. Not We're just going to get that drool neck. coming out. Like, oh. Oh. Um, so, Marco? Yeah. Uh, Step up and just get right behind him, pretty much right in here. And you're just going to be looking right at him. Bare your teeth. Same thing that you were so, doing when you came up the stairs. Can I get you to cheat to your right? The idea. Uh, a little bit more. Uh, we drop cloth the chair that Joe's sitting on. We drop cloth all the walls. We, we basically make this cocoon of plastic around our cameras, our actors, and wherever possibly conceivably the blood could spray. Um, it was a long time to set up. Not only that, we had two cameras rolling. So Kevin, our BTS guy, uh, also had his FX6 rolling on a tighter shot of his neck just in case the wide shot didn't work out as well. Just a, just something to cut away to. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be weird, but you can go down those. even down. further. Yep. Okay. okay. Uh, ready for... Okay, we're gonna do another test. Oh yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Can I get a little towel or a little something? <laughs> Can I get a little towel? Thank you. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Oh, dump the water on you. <laughs> All right. It's so much setup. Yeah, we get it's so much setup, and we get one shot. To, to get this right, or we're spending another, you know, 30, 40, an hour resetting and doing it over again. So to me, it felt like everyone was holding their breath for this shot. I mean, I'm holding the monitor and I'm shaking because I'm just like, this is it. This is what we've been waiting for. And everyone feel good? Oh, I feel awesome. Ready to go for a take? Yeah, Derek feels awesome. Well, that's awesome. Jensina, you feel good to go for a take? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna eject the blood if you're ready. Uh, yep, yep, go ahead. Okay. Uh, Derek, Kevin, you ready to roll? Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's start rolling. Speech. Everyone, Speech. just there. Uh, just be completely silent throughout the take until I yell cut. Okay. Yeah. yeah just go ahead, and Joe. I'm focused on you. Okay. Everyone feel good? Yeah. Yep. No problem. It was, it was, it, it just, uh, it, it, there was also like some timing that had to go into it because Mia had to bite Joe's neck and pull away at the exact moment that the, the pressure of air was building up enough to shoot blood out. So if the timing is off, we were going to have to redo it. So not only that was stuff that you just can't practice. It's just, it just, you just have to tell her like, Mia, I need you to pull. And then once you feel the blood start to spray out, that's when you have to yank it off of his neck. 
and she did it perfectly. The blood spray worked perfectly. Joe's reaction was unexpected and perfect. He just was wailing, which I mean, of course he would, but for some reason I didn't expect it. And uh, we got it, one take, and we were able to move on. Kind of just by happenstance, it happened at a point in the night, you know, maybe just past midnight or just before midnight that we knew we had a lot left to go, but getting that shot and nailing it at that time in the night carried us through the rest of the night because at least I felt, and I know a lot of the crew and the actors felt like after that, after just nailing that, we could do anything. We can, we, we can, we'll, we'll stay because we got that. We can get the next shot. We can get the next shot. And that, that high of just nailing that at right at, right at midnight carried us through for the next five hours of shooting. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The way it like... Yes. It was perfect timing. Yeah. It's just... Oh. It's like... Oh my god, yeah. And there's like a still a hunk of skin yeah, a little right there. Skin, yeah. yeah. And he's fine. <laughs> Joe. I'm fine. And I'm like, oh, it's over. I guess it's fine. It's fine. Well, we're setting up for a few more shots here. It's getting pretty late into the night. Um, we're almost done. We've got maybe an hour or two left of filming, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. If you want to see what happens. Oh, if you want to see what happens, I guess you'll have to watch the full movie. But uh, if not, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, I can't believe that we're almost done. I'm almost done. And uh, this ride with Victoria has been incredible. Um, I can't wait for everyone to see this. Um, she's a fun take on uh, an old mythical creature, but she's layered. There's some, there's some layers in there with her and she has a lot of fun. So this has been such a joy to take her from start to finish. And I'm so proud of what we're putting together and the crew here has been amazing. It's just been an incredible experience uh, from the get-go. I walked in blind, I didn't know anybody on set, and honestly, I'm really sad for it to end. I, they all feel like family now. I wanna come back, let's make it into a feature. And just like that, we were wrapped with Mia at five in the morning. <laughs> and yeah, it was, it was a pleasure working with her. I definitely wanna work with her again because what a talented actor, what a, what a, what a thoughtful actor to um, dive into a character like that and, and really put some thought into who this person is and where they've come from and where they're headed. It's, it's sad to see her go, but we have one day left. Transition. <laughs> So our final day of shooting was, you know, it's bittersweet. I, I could live on a film set. I think it would just bring me so much joy and adrenaline that I could just spend every day, um, you know, on a film set, uh, making a movie, uh, especially with my friends. So it was bittersweet. It was, it was nice to know that we had accomplished the harder bits, but we were also running on fumes. So. Um, we started at Windstar with like a big opening scene. It, it's kind of it was kind of a nice bookend because we started on Thursday shooting uh, the very opening scene, and then on Sunday we started with what, the scene that comes immediately after that. So scene two, basically. 
I'm so tired. But yesterday went so well. So I feel like today is gonna be smooth sailing other than the fact that we're all kind of loopy from lack of sleep. <laughs> How'd the last few scenes go last night? Fantastic. Yeah, you know, it was, it was good. The, all, all the coffee and adrenaline got us through. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was fun. I, I was, uh, I, I smelled, I was laying in a pool of chocolate blood, um, and uh, like this morning, I was like, I think I still smell it. Awesome. Even though I showered. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll just be flying back if you feel like. You smell like Hershey's? I'm like, no, I don't. I don't. This bad boy is about 10 years old, but still gets the job done, mm -hmm. especially as a prop camera. <laughs> So today we are. Which day is this? Uh, this is the final day of shooting. We're back at Windstar Studios for pretty much our lightest day. We're gonna do some stuff on the stage here, and then pretty much everyone breaks except for a few people, and we finish up in Jesse's apartment, and then we'll be completely done. And the last night went extremely well. Uh, we finished up with Mia. Uh, could not have been happier with her performance, her attitude. Uh, just a very talented actor. Awesome. And how are you feeling so far about everything? So far, everything is looking better than I could have ever hoped, ever, ever could have imagined. It's uh, incredible. This this team of filmmakers is second to none. So. Are we like measuring? Paige is like he just said. Okay, fine. You can get out of here. So in one shot, as we're pushing in on them, I want. Page to leave frame, she's just like, sweet, boogie's out of there. We're pushing in um, on Jesse, the lights are starting to come down. Uh, a grip hands him the pillow, and then by the time we land on him in a close up, the lights go all the way down. They just need to spotlight it. Pretty good, got four hours of sleep. <laughs> Yesterday we started at like 11 a.m., we got done the next day at about 7 a.m., so we're in rough pro. shape, but. What a pro. Everybody is in uh, good spirits, which is great. We're all having a great time. It's been a fun party. We were filming a film set, so what was fun with that was we got to put lights out there, we got to have like our monitors, extra cameras, everybody that was a part of the crew got to be an extra in the background. Um, and of course we got to be pretty ridiculous because no one does motion capture in the way that we were portraying it. You know, we, it's not one camera pointed at two people in morph suits with ping pong balls, it's, it's so many different pieces of technology and cameras that are pointing at him from all different directions. Uh, but we're making a movie and we can do whatever we want. Kendall, when you're done with that, I'm going to Okay. Uh, go ahead. I'll be alright. Happier with my mouth open? How sad with your mouth open? I think it was on the top, but it's on my foot. Ah, okay, yeah, that's where it definitely was. Zombie Predator's five. <laughs> uh, that was when we brought out uh, Tony Serrata, who played Yuri, um, and he did an excellent job. He's uh, he he auditioned and. Um, he, he just had such a great audition and got really goofy and crazy with it and knew that he was going to be just this asshole director and, and he played it perfectly. He was, he was great to work with and, and really funny on set and he crushed it. And... I'm Tony Serrata. I'm originally from New York but I am currently living in Greeley, Colorado. And what are you doing on the I am Yuri, the asshole director. Zombie Predators 5, or this is Zombie Predators 5, all the way down to, we can enhance those in post. I just want you to walk as you're speaking all the way up to him, and then when you get up to him after that, I want you to crowd it down.
Uh, yeah, um, Zombie Predators Five. Um, yeah, my well, my name's uh, my name's Jesse Joe. Uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah, you'll be able to watch it on Sh Shmoobly. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a streaming service that doesn't exist yet. Um, but yeah, it'll be ninety nine dollars uh, for a week. Um, it's gonna be worth it. Uh, a lot of production value. A lot of pr a lot of production value um, in this one. Just waiting on the engraving. Yeah. That's the fun of it, is knowing that the audience will forgive you if they're being entertained. Um, and part of the goofiness of Zombie Predators 5 is that their lighting, like normally in motion capture, you'd just be on a perfectly white, perfectly evenly lit stage, but we had them light the stage the exact same way that you'd see the lighting in Bishop Castle. Jesse. We're having monitor issues, so if you want to come, I don't know if you can see the frame that I'm looking at here. So we want to get a shot of Jesse from um, a B cam on this monitor here, but for some reason we can't get the picture to show up from, from the camera. So, from the ancient red over there. From the ancient red. So we're going to try switching out for a black magic and see if that works. All right. After we try this, it's over. Got it. Then we'll just keep playing. Yep. Plan F. It's an SDI one. Yeah. Nothing, guys. Let's dump it. Okay. We're just gonna roll on this. Yep. Derek. And then this will be what we put on the monitor. Cut. Jesse. I just gave you five takes. Uh, I just need you to deliver the lines. You know, do it loud and fast. Yeah, no, I, I just want the audience to feel. Uh, bring up the lights. More than that. Plenty. <laughs> Your name and what you're doing on set. Oh no, uh, I'm Kelsey, and I'm an extra. <laughs> How do you know Joe? I'm his sister. <laughs> it was great to, it was a great final day thing to just have everybody on set, being on camera and everything like that. And maybe it played into the, the, the grizzled crew look, the fact that everybody got four hours of sleep, uh, but uh, it, it all worked out. Okay. And action. Hey, buddy. Tell me you can do this. Back by that other if you would prefer somebody to be back there, otherwise, I don't want to do that. Okay, cool. Cut. Cooler, like, cooler down the floor. For the most part, you'll just be like walking a uh, thousand yard stare, and you do notice her. Um, maybe even like try to nod or something, but she doesn't uh, pay attention. We did a slow motion shot where. Joe was going to be walking towards camera, listening to Victoria's beautiful monologue in his head and, and just realizing that he's on Zombie Predators 5 and won't amount to anything. And that was another fun bit of choreography, getting people, everybody on the set involved with walking in and out of frame or, or past him or standing there yelling into their phone and just playing into all the cliches of being on a film set. And, I don't know why filmmakers always make movies about being a, like make movies about making movies, but it's so fun to do uh, to get meta with it. Uh, I loved what you did, Tony. That was perfect. How you met right in the middle and he kind of had to avoid you. That was perfect. And you could even be about more like just throwing your head back, laughing, whoever I'm on the phone with. Uh, that what you guys did was great. Um, try to after you get to this point, just angle yourself a little bit more left and walk kind of that way. Um, 
Marco and Kevin, you guys did, were great. You guys were great. Uh, Johnny, I want more of like a, just wait a beat longer after okay. action. And and I want you kind of more behind it like okay. this. Like you're, like you're pushing it like this. Copy that. Uh, I'm gonna hop in with you, Kevin. That is a wrap on Yuri. So. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you, for, Tony. Yeah. The opportunity. Of course, of course. Okay, that was that was our last moment with a full crew. That's a wrap. Woo! Take two. <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs> yeah, it's been great. This is all, this whole thing's been great. Um, I'm happy it worked out uh, that we were able to do it, and uh, I mean to, for everybody to take you know five days out of their you know schedule and like go create something. It's something like this, you know, like everybody's like really at the top of their game, um, and uh, it's just been great working with Joe again. You know? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm excited about finishing this movie. <laughs> Shut up, Kevin! <laughs> I'm not excited to be done. You're not excited. I want the next movie. Come yeah. on, Joe. You start writing. Uh, uh, what was the, what was the Zombie name? Predator Zombie 6. Predator Six. <laughs> I'm ready for it. Let's All do right. it. Let's do it. excited and very happy with how everything went. Yeah, uh, being done again was kind of a bittersweet moment, but it was cool to realize that everything that I had, everything that you can ever envision in a, for a project, along the, along the way you'll have to make compromises and things that that can go wrong, will go wrong every single time. And getting to that point where we were officially wrapped and looking back and, and finally taking a moment to have like a retrospective moment and realizing that most of, 99% of the vision was, was executed. It was, it was done. Uh, to the extent that I had pictured it, if not better than I could have ever pictured it. And that's a credit to working with a crew that you're super comfortable with, that, that know that what your vision is. Uh, that's a credit to pre-planning. That's a credit to working with incredible actors. I can't thank the crew and cast enough, and it's just a testament to, if you're gonna do something like this, make sure that you have the right people behind you because having the right people behind you is all the difference between something you're proud of and something you're not proud of. <laughs>